He said, oh, my God, Marsha, I can't be angry anymore. This is really terrible. I, I've lost my ability to be angry. I said, well, that's good. Keep doing willing hands. So anger is an excess of emotion once again. And your emotion goes way up. So um, what we did was we developed a number of skills for it. Okay. One of the skills, uh, this is hard to believe that it works so well, but actually it does work as it turns out. I learned this from um, a course I took in spirituality, actually. And it had to do with the concept of willing hands. So willing hands are when you put your hands like this. I'll show them to you right up there. Okay. It's like this. Okay. Now, if you put, if you get angry and you're trying to get your anger to go down. So this is when you've already convinced them that getting their anger to go down is a good idea. So I'll come back to what you do if you can't convince them of that. But this, then what you do is you can tell a person to put their willing hands by the side or on their on their uh, knees. It turns out it's really a miracle. It's very difficult to stay angry with willing hands. I had a friend from Europe calling me up after I taught it to him. And he said, oh, my God, Marsh, I can't be angry anymore. This is really terrible. I, I've lost my ability to be angry. I said, well, that's good. Keep doing willing hands. So that's a really good strategy for all of us, okay? It's extremely good if you're at a meeting. Um, can you stand up and show me uh, by your side what you mean? By the side, you just have willing hands like this. I see. Okay. And could you push your chair back for a moment and show yeah. me um, on your knees? I'll tell you when I can see you. Push back further. Okay. I see. Okay. Okay. So Thank you. I'll give you a really good story on that. This particular um, person was an adolescent. She was about, oh, I mean, she wasn't that young, actually. She was probably 18 or something. She and a bunch of her friends had gone shopping. Okay. So when she went shopping, um, the person that she was buying from was really mean to her. Why? I don't know. But when she told me and they told me what this person had said, it really was mean. Okay. So she was telling me, she said, I was staying there, Marcia, and I was starting to get really angry at her. And then I remembered you and I made willing hands and my anger immediately went down. Okay. So it's a, if you can get a person to believe that one of their problems is anger and that reducing anger is in their interest, then you can get them to practice this.